there are trillions of stars and even more planets in the unbelievably large universe. Therefore, there must be life somewhere, right? If there is, where is it? Why are there no aliens in sight? What does this teach us about our own fate in this vast and unsettling universe? Since the beginning of time, humanity has struggled with this issue, and yet, we're still without a definite response. We have never heard a provable radio signal from extraterrestrial life, or even the tiniest hint of it, despite our great technological breakthroughs. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI, Institute, which has been scouring the skies for radio signals from intelligent species since it was founded in 1984, the Kepler Space Telescope, which during its mission confirmed more than 2,500 exoplanets by observing more than 500,000 stars, and most recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, which has just taken its first direct image of an exoplanet, are all part of the current search for alien life. The infamous WOW signal is one of the most fascinating possible communications from an alien civilization. The Ohio State University's Big Ear radio telescope discovered this incredibly brief but strong radio signal on August 15, 1977. It lasted for 1 minute and 12 seconds. Astronomer Jerry Amen enthusiastically scrawled the word WOW on the datasheet because the signal was so intriguing. The majority now concur that aliens are unlikely to have sent the WOW signal However, in a recent study from May 2022 that was published in the International Journal of Astrobiology, scientists found a potential source for the WOW signal. A sun-like star a little bit farther than 1,800 light-years from Earth. Nevertheless, the issue still stands. Are we alone in this vast universe? According to Manasvi Lingham, an astrobiologist and assistant professor in the Florida Institute of Technology's Department of Aerospace, Physics and Space Sciences, the only correct answer to this issue for the moment is that we don't know. In spite of this, he continues, I remain optimistic about the presence of alien life, given the number of potentially livable worlds and the intriguing continuing research into the origins of life. Recently, the Pentagon has confirmed that there has been a surge in UFO sightings. Very exciting. We have sighted our first UFO. In the first public hearing on UFOs in 50 years, a top US defense officer told lawmakers that in the past two decades, there had been more reports of unexplained flying objects in the skies. According to Scott Bray, the Deputy Director of Naval Intelligence, During the early 2000s, we noticed an increased number of unauthorized and or unidentified aircraft or objects in military restricted training areas and training ranges and other specified airspace. Bray linked the increase to both technology advancements and US military attempts to destigmatize the process of reporting sites and contacts. But he claimed that nothing had been found by the Pentagon that would suggest it's anything non-terrestrial in origin. But Bray did not completely discount the idea either. Bray stated, We've made no conclusions about what this is or isn't. While admitting they had no explanation for dozens of oddities noticed by military pilots, US intelligence has already stated in a long-awaited study in June 2021 that there was no evidence of the presence of extraterrestrials in the skies. Some of these reports could be explained by the US military's radar systems becoming confused due to the presence of drones or birds. Others might result from experiments with military hardware or technology by nations like China or Russia. The main focus of the US military and intelligence agencies is figuring out whether these airborne objects may be connected to threats against the country. Unknown aerial phenomena could pose a risk to national security, and that is how they must be handled said Democrat Andre Carson of Indiana, who was presiding over the panel conducting the hearing. So the question now arises, where should we look for alien life? 
We haven't found enough evidence or created the necessary technology to send a spacecraft into the universe beyond our solar system to look for intelligent life. But there are still many planets and moons within our solar system where we can look for microbial life. Melissa Sedler, who recently earned a Master's of Natural Sciences from the School of Earth and Space Exploration at Arizona State University, says, I find it difficult to decide between sheltered places on Mars or perhaps the ocean floor of small oceanic moons like Enceladus and Europa as the likeliest places other life could be found in our solar system. We know that life flourishes even when we don't anticipate it from our ongoing study of the Earth and its harsh settings, at least severe from our perspective. Similar niches could be hidden beneath the surface of Mars or in and among the ice caps. However, the exciting possibility of location for additional life as we know it is opened up by the existence of liquid water. Dynamic processes can exist within planets, dwarf planets, and even moons, and we have known since the 1970s that the deep ocean floor of Earth enables the flow of energy between the Earth and the ocean water. It's possible that the vibrant oases that we observe at hydrothermal vents in the deep ocean have cousins underneath those extraterrestrial oceans. The perseverance and curiosity Mars rovers are occupied with looking for ancient, and maybe still existent, indications of life within Gale Crater and Jezero Crater, respectively. The race is on to see which missions, present and future, will finally answer the question of whether we're alone in the universe. Looking ahead, the Dragonfly mission could reveal unique insights into Titan's habitability, and possibly unearth evidence of life. The James Webb Space Telescope is now in operation and allows us to look for bio and technological signatures on exoplanets. But how would the discovery of life outside Earth affect mankind? Would the knowledge that we are not alone in the cosmos cause us to unite as one, or would everyone start to go crazy? Ian Mars, a PhD student in the Department of Astronomy and Planetary Science at Northern Arizona University, says it wouldn't fundamentally alter our understanding of the cosmos. It would be reassuring to discover extraterrestrial life, since it would allay the worries brought on by the Fermi conundrum. But in my opinion, it shouldn't dethrone humanity's position in the cosmos. It is remarkable that we, like the creatures and plants all around us, are the result of billions of years of evolution. If we discover extraterrestrial life, we will have improved the universe's story, rather than degraded it. The Mars rovers are still excavating holes close to their landing sites, SETI is still searching the skies for radio signals, the James Webb Space Telescope is still blowing our minds with photos and data, and future missions to probe the outer solar system for indications of life are still being planned. So maybe, one day humanity will have the solution to the question, are we alone? In the meantime, all we can do is continue our hunt for life. But what do you think? Please tell us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please do give us a like, subscribe, and click the notification icon to keep up to date on all the latest activity on the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.